Mr. Eggplant presents. Hey guys, Tyler here, and thanks for checking out this video. And I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube to really enjoy the holiday season, but I'm back, and I'm so excited to share some Mythic Plus runs with you guys. So in this video, I am playing my Marksman Hunter, and this is going to be the first key that I'm going to post for Season 1 of Dragonflight. So in this run, which is a timed plus 10 Algathar Academy, there is a lot of room for improvement, and that's really what these uh, videos started out as for me to go back and watch and see where I could have done better. I have a lot of poor cooldown usage, and in fact, I'd never seen thundering before, so we're going to see me screw that up at the, uh, the very first time. But overall, a fun run. I got to do this with Teach and a few new faces actually so we're gonna kind of gloss over them here in just a second but let's go ahead and talk about my build in this video so i am super under geared i am in fact by far the lowest geared player i still don't have a ton of gear if i'm being completely honest with you but teach was nice enough to bring me along and i thought we did really nice overall so my item level in this video is going to be 363 364 somewhere in there and my weapon is currently a 363 bow off of some rare I killed in the Azure span. I do not have any tier gear, and I, in fact, I think only one person has tier a piece of tier gear in this particular run, which was Feralock. But my trinkets, I have some 246 uh, trinkets, which are going to be the Bottle of Spiraling Winds, and then the Bushwhacker's Compass, which is basically like Harlan's Dice uh, from BFA. I'm not going to dive too crazy into my talents, whether that be my class talents or my spec talents. The main ones I'm going to hit on, I of course am running with Death Chakram and Explosive Shot, and then Poison Injection for my class talents. And then also for my spec talents, for marksmen only, I am running with Wailing Arrow uh, because that is something that we desperately need in a few of these dungeons for all of the interrupts. Uh, I don't use it to the best of my ability, but, you know, I'm working on that. And then I have True Shot, of course. Everybody should have True Shot. And then Unerring Vision. And in fact, Unerring Vision was not working in this run. Uh, it's, it gives you the buff, but it wasn't working. So that actually was fixed by the time I'm actually recording this voiceover and then also salvo and I will put a link to all of my other talent down below so you guys can see what they look like in their entirety and then as for the key itself like I said earlier it is a timed plus 10 Algathar Academy and the affixes are fortified raging quaking and thundering for the season one affix and again like I said I completely screwed up thundering uh, the first couple of times. You'll see me try to turtle it off and completely, I think I trolled Teach. Uh, I feel really bad about that. But by the time I got done with the run, I think thundering is not going to be an issue at all. And he actually gave me a couple of weak ores that you'll see off to the left side of my screen that uh, helped me tremendously once I really kind of understood uh, what kind of information they were telling me. And then looking at the members of our team for this run, Teach is tanking for us on his warrior. We have a new guy, which is Dromo Kafrap, which was actually an evoker. So we got to see uh, evokers in a key and I thought they did a really nice drop. In fact, we almost had a male stat going on. We had Bam which Bammy, I believe, is new to the channel playing their Beast Mastery Hunter. They did a great job. I really am excited to see if we can have more than one Hunter in our groups to see if we can really push each other to get the most uh, out of our Hunter, regardless of spec. And then Feralock is, of course, you guys know him from last expansion, doing all of the damage in this run. I think he was like 385, already got some tier gear, are absolutely destroying some of these pulls so nice job to him and of course myself on my marksman hunter rounding out our group and i'll keep this kind of brief because there is just a lot i would want to talk about there are so for example in the run uh we did i did go and grab the mastery buff the blue buff there at the beginning from the uh azure drake and then we went ahead and went to go right up to the tree boss first. And so the way the tree boss works is you want to make sure and be huddled all around near his feet. So that way when all the little guys pop up, and by the way, you do want to delay cooldowns just a little bit on those to get the most damage possible out of all of those explosive shots. Uh, but we did wipe. So we wiped on that. So then we kind of had to call an audible. Then we went over just like normal. We killed the um, arcane boss went all the way up and went over there and did the bird boss and then went back once we had lust to the tree and then 
to the final boss, which was the uh, the dragon. So I don't even know all of the boss names, but one of the things that I really get out of this run is making sure that particularly fortified is not as big of a deal, but on uh, tyrannical bosses it is. We have to make sure that you have your true shot up or pull to get the most out of your careful aim, which we are running uh, in this video. So you want to make the most out of that because single target damage, we do not do as much damage as let's say Beast Mastery on most cases will tend to fall off. Uh, but if you prioritize making sure you have most, if not all, most of your cooldowns, particularly your true shot up, whenever you uh, are going to be pulling bosses, that's just going to be knowing when you can and cannot use your cooldowns in some of these dungeons. That really depends on your group as well. Uh, so it's kind of harder to do with pugs. Uh, but making sure that you have those cooldowns up and using them appropriately. So don't set on them too long, but then you don't want to use them too much to where... Uh, you know, you don't have them up for the tree boss when you know that there is a priority amount of damage that needs to happen uh, at a certain time. And then also, if you are, since this is Algathar Academy, if you do get the mastery trinket, the puzzle box at the very end, uh, Pinhead would probably really like to talk to you if you do have the puzzle box. But uh, if you do have that, you it does have a cast time, so you can't put it into a macro, let's say. Uh, well, you can, but you, you can't just be like, use 14 and then expect it to go right into True Shot or something like that. But make sure that you do kind of like a, in your head, like a 3, 2, 1, and use it at 2 seconds before you're going to be pulling. That way you get all of that bonus mastery. Uh, that is uh, a trinket that I'm really going to try to get. And I just really need to focus on gearing at this point. I don't have a ton of gear, but that's what these next couple of weeks are for. So we can really start pushing our goal is, of course, is going to be Keystone Hero each and every tier, but we're going to see if we can do it. So thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure and follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrEggplant. I've kind of been missing my streams lately. I haven't really been streaming Raid, but I really wanted to enjoy the holiday season uh, with Haley and with Zelda and kind of got in the way of uh, streaming. So I do apologize for that, but it's been a lot of fun over these last couple of weeks. And I cannot wait to share more experiences with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Join my Discord if you haven't already. Check out my guide. And I'll see you in the next one. I think we uh, DRT uh, stuns too quickly. That's all right, though. It was clean enough. Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, make sure you grab orbs. Don't let any reach the boss. Uh, try to only grab one or two at most on your stacks. If you are getting two stacks, make sure to call for a dispel. Oh, my fucking pet that. No. Why? I don't know. I was wondering why I did no fucking damage. I might do it. Uh, me and Degas are negative, everybody else is positive. Alright, I got you. You guys clear? Clear, okay. okay. No. Someone needs this over. I got it. Just spell me when you get a chance. Oh, thank you. Launch feet. Orbs of spawn. Mm. Really, let's make sure to grab the next one that spawns near you. Uh, you're gonna have to spawn me up for this one, sorry. Back over to the tree. Might go past him to do the uh, mini boss just can so we wait that? for lust. I, I maybe, I think we can. I don't know why we wouldn't be able to, but let's just see. 
because I'd rather not be the boss of that list, but if we have to, we have to. Because I don't want to have to fight that trash over there. Yeah. Terribly. Yeah, we can. So we'll do the mini boss. And we'll, yeah, we'll do the mini boss and then come. Uh, and quaking. Oh, my pet's fucking gone again. Can you stop? This that? place is the worst. It really is. Like, I've noticed that myself. So, you don't want to be in that. You can technically line of sight it. I've learned. Oh my god, really? You piece of shit? Are we going to birds or yeah? Okay. Yeah, 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 we'll just go back and kill the tree. I want to get less on cooldown. Oh, we got two minutes, so. Uh, once it says, once it starts counting down past one minute, we need the other two to come back anyway. Wait, I'm already at the birds. Uh, can you, you not in combat? No. You can't come back at all. No, there's no wind. Oh, well, well, I guess we're going to the bird. Down. Portal, 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 portal. portal, portal. Okay. Oh. They fucking changed it so you couldn't summon inside of dungeons. Only in year. Mechagon. Why only Mechagon? Because you can skip a the, bunch of shit. The maze. Really? I guess people were like cheesing it. Uh, we should have enough time for Les to come up. I'll do a better job of making sure I'm not wasting it. Yeah. Just, um... Just pretty much like be on top of the boss. Like you don't. You, there's no reason to not be on top of the boss during this entire thing, except for quaking. Because germinate's coming up. Get on the boss. Get on the boss. Get on the boss. Because they spawn under your feet. So. Center up. Germinate is coming up, so get close, get close, get close, get close. I get next to the right, As soon as this ancient uh, thing dies, get inside, get inside, get inside the circle, get inside the circle, get inside the circle. Good job, good job, good job. All right, let's get them down. It's done most of them. leave off of the boss at this point hopefully we don't have to worry about another set of ads but i will get the first interrupt again get close for germinate again just in case get close get close get close get close oh shit dead guys are coming clear on me I'm dead. I'm trying to get aggro and I can't. That's okay, we got it. That second set is so fucking hard to get. Alright, let's go to the bird. I, I, I honestly don't know what to do to get aggro on the second set, aside from just pray to god misdirect works. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be MD. Well, I mean, the thing is, you're not always going to have a hunter. Like, or a rogue. Yeah, or a rogue. I guess. Yeah. Rips. I mean, yeah, if we're going to put together a good comp, Rogue is probably going to be a part of it because they're insane right now. True. I mean, honestly, hunters are pretty too. BM is going fucking nuts, I've heard. Or not BM, um, Marksman. Yeah, Marksman is. Yeah. Is that why they're changing them, or is that because of the change? No, um, Marksman is like, their hit right now is really fucking clunky, as it is, 
Uh, Salvo, from my understanding, Greeley, you can probably comment more on this than I can. Um, Salvo is just super fucking clunky to use, from my understanding. Uh, it's hard to, to tame. It was easy because it was the Necrolord ability last expansion. But now, it's with, whenever I have it up and available, if I use a multi-shot or a volley, it'll automatically drop it, which sounds fine. But the problem is, that means I have to run around and not attack anything. Until I'm ready to go. But when they're, they're changing it, and what I was told, it's off the GCD, which means I can literally just connect it to my... Uh, Greeley and Bammy, either of you can clear on me. That means you can literally just... Uh, Put it on your macro for volley and never worry about it. It's great. And have complete control over it. Okay, so I want to try this boss the way that we're probably going to need to do it on like a 20, which is hold the balls for as long as we can and not use them. And then use them only to like reset the screech stacks do not even get fire for the damage buff no not even use it because bumble had a point because like you that you don't really want to use storm if you can help it because storm is storm is what makes this boss deadly to a point right so you want to hold it and get fire down uh, whenever you're ready to reset the stacks and then only reset with storm whenever you absolutely have to. Okay. Honestly, it's fine. Like, we can honestly, yeah, just let's just fucking nuke it now. But, like, uh, we're going to have to practice that at some point. We're not going to be able to use fire as a damage buff. We're just going to have to use it as a reset. So we'll we'll do it normally this this round, but that is something we need to keep in mind. Uh, me and Degas are negative. Everybody else is positive. Hunters, y'all can clear on each other when you're ready. Good job on the clearing. All right. Balls are up. Bring the fire. Alright, start watching your feet. It's going to be messy. Because I think what the play is going to be is, at least for me, the route that I want to run is um, go tree, lust, go over to um, no, no, don't throw him, don't throw him, don't throw him, don't throw him. We're not, we're not activating Storm yet. Oh, wow, why, why am I stunned? Why am I stunned? I don't know why I was stunned. Um, You're good. Me and Degasser are negative, everybody else is positive. Um, this is what I was talking about because deafening screech every time it happens it adds a stack and stacking damage so you'll take more damage from the next deafening screech and that clears from goals so like I think like we'll probably want to hold fire until we get two stacks activate fire and then try to hold just as long as physically possible before we have to activate storm So like the way that we did it aside from having to like come over here do the mini boss and stuff like that is the way that i want to do it where it's tree mana boss bird and then go do the rest of trash and finish because the trash leading especially now that i have like three fucking range and a damn evoker I, I don't have to worry about the damn whirlwinds i can just pull as much of this shit as i want to um i'm gonna do like a small double and then actually Oh, this right. two, these two idiots over there too. Uh, 
let's get a... Careful, uh, I, I pop cooldown on you. Pretty much just nothing but double pulls and triple pulls up here is what I want to do. Ready to run with me, we're gonna take all of this into the boss room. Some range kicks on those out there. That's like the only problem is like so the biggest issue with these fucking ones that cast arcane missile, I've noticed, uh, is they cast at warlock pets. So if you even have like two imps outside hitting anything, they'll fucking sit there and channel at your imps. Oh yeah. It's freaking obnoxious as I'll get out. All right, we got thundering about to happen alongside quaking. Ooh. All right, and then uh, just make sure if you're about to get your fourth stack, um, run out. Everything on this box is dodgeable except the bomb. God, I lust. Was she a principal? If I get another fucking Halls of Valor, I'm gonna off myself. The best. What you need is a Shadow Moon. If no, I, I get a Shadow Moon off of this, I'm fucking doing it. That's for damage. Well, I was gonna say, it ain't even two chested, so what's the point? Me and Degas are negative, the rest of you are positive. Clear whenever you are ready. I'm trusting you guys because we are in bombs. Okay, there, easy peasy. Anyway. <laughs> This is what I don't understand. Like, this boss doesn't hurt at all. Literally, she can slap me around all day and nothing ha- Oh, quarter stars, that ain't bad. But she can slap me around, nothing bad happens. The last boss of Azure Vaults is basic. 